My name is Gustavo Gamboa, and um, this is uh, my draw house project. Um, to start off, I'm going to show you what it does, how it works. So I try to keep it, keep it simple, and it's a small square. I'm not focusing on the size of my house. I'm basically basically focusing on 3D and color here. And there you see you have my sun, and it's pretty slow while um, rendering the color because uh, I'll get back to that in one sec. Okay, so let's take a look at my code to see what it's doing. So I started with uh, making a drawing tool called pencil, then a sketch pad, which is the the canvas we're uh, painting on. Then these variables are for something I did down here, but I'll show you later. And okay, then we initialize the sketch pad with a size of 900 uh, on the x axis and 900 on the y axis. Um, then uh, we put our pencil down on the paper here and then we started doing uh, s the square and the roof which I'm talking I'm referring to this square right here so first uh, it's forward 200 and uh, where, where did the pencil start um, I'm going there it starts right in the middle of the canvas you can see it if I here. It starts right here, and forward for him the first time is up. So here, this is the first line that was drew uh, drawn. drawn. Okay. Uh, then in the code you can see that it says um, wait, this is it. Okay. You can see it says turn left. So what he's doing is he the pencil is here. Oh wait. So we are here. And then turn left is just going uh rotating this way. And then we have a function called forward in right there, here. So we go forward that way, then you turn left again, so you're going down here, then you turn um forward and then turn left again and you finish this off here. Now, what I did first was set the color to blue with this function, which, which we have in the documentation. And I filled the rectangle, which is 200 by 200. And uh, How does Java know that it's that particular rectangle? Oh, you have to set, you have to, oh, here it is. You move to the center of the rectangular you're, you're uh, painting. So it's right here. I move to minus y100, um, 100 on the x, so it's here, and 100 on the y axis, so it's right here in the middle. In the and middle. It, ha it has to be the exact center. The exact center, yeah. And then you specify in this function the, the width and length of your width and height of your rectangle that you're going to fill and just <laughs> gets the color from here and it sets the fills the rectangle in that color and then I use the uh, pencil up function to move to the um, to move to this little section right here and right there I started making my roof so I set the color uh, black you can't really see it right now because I colored it later on with red. And I set the direction to a 135, which is, as I see it, a big circle. And you have your 0 here, and 90 here, 180. So this represents 135. So I went there. I set the direction, put my pencil down, moved my pencil forward. And Why did you put your pencil down? Because if you don't put your pencil down, it, it just will move here, but it won't draw anything. Okay. 
moving here. Yeah. Uh, after you, after that, I I moved to the other side of the. Um, I didn't put my oh I did put my pencil up and I moved to this side of the of the house that corner there and I put my pencil down set my color to red and the opposite of 135 here it's going to be 45 here so I I did that and went forward again so then I moved to the door. I comment everything I did because that's what a good programmer does. Uh -huh. yeah. And okay, I set my color to red. I move. I put my pencil up. Moved it here. Then I set the direction to 90, which is up. Then went like this, this, this. Then I moved my pencil to the center of the triangle of the rectangle and filled it with the color that I had, which is red. Now, the windows. It's pretty much the same as the door. Just move there, uh, set your color, move to your, uh, move to the position you want to start. Like, right here, I started this one. And this one started right here. Um, then, I, uh, pretty much the same here. With the two of them, here's one, here's the other. And uh, now I made it 3D. That here's where it got kind of tricky. Because what I did was I moved home, which is uh, zero on the X and zero on the Y. And when I was home, here I see I went home. So it's right here in the middle. I set my color to blue, I put my pencil down, and set the direction to 50, which is this line, in that direction. Then I put, I went forward for 100 pixels, and made it happen. I started with this. How, how did you go at an oblique angle like that? What you did was, you're going, you're, the, the impression is that you're going into the plane of the board, right? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like well, you, didn't draw, you didn't draw a vertical or horizontal line. You drew a line. I, I draw like a um, diagonal line. Yeah, how did you do that? I, s I went to home, like like I said here, and then set my direction to 50. Oh, okay. Which is, you know, little circle, then 50 represents. And why 50 instead of 45? Just out of curiosity. Oh, just, um, I just made it so it looked better doing trial and error. Okay. Like just trying out some different numbers, and that's what it came out the best. Did, did, uh, did any of you find that to be more, give you more perspective, or if you use an angle other than like 45 and 45? Yeah. Okay, then I uh, went up here. Um, here you can see forward 200 on 90. Direction 90, so it's upwards. Set direction to 200, 200, um, 230, which is the um, which is going. It's the same as 50, but the other way around. Like here, instead of 50 here, it's 230 going back, going down. Then I put. Um, Oh, then I did the, the 3D part of the roof, which is I uh, set my color to red and then put my pencil down here and went up this direction. Then I met, made the sun, which is pretty easy. It's just moving your. Uh, I like the color of the sun. Here's make the sun. I just uh, put my pencil up and moved it right here. The center of that, in this exact center of that, of that, of that sun circle, and then uh, set my color to yellow. 
put my pencil down, draw the circle. 50 is the radius, I think, in pixels of the, of the circle. And then I fill my oval with the color using 100, 100. Uh, this means that it's fill oval, so usually an oval is like this, something like it, and you have like your diameter here, which is probably, I don't know, something like 50, and your diameter here will be something bigger, like 100. You're talking about minor and major angles. Exactly. So if you do a circle, uh, you have to do them uh, the same size, so it won't, you know, okay, go good. in the shape of an egg. Okay, so you're saying, <laughs> so you, you intuit that a circle is an ellipse that has equally, uh, exact same exact axis. axes are, this, are that number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. So then, uh, he, here's where it, where it gets kind of difficult. Because I had to, to fill uh, rectangles, they have a function. To fill ovals, they have a function. But to fill triangles, they don't have a function. So you have to figure out how to how to how to paint fill that with your color. So and, and how did you how did you go? show me the code for filling a triangle and then explain to me the logic you use for for the Okay, this is the code. this is the color triangle. I covered it right here. Just I like coming to stuff. And then okay. Oh well this one uses a for loop with variables that are um, initialized here and declared here. So, I don't know where I put it in there, but this you is... put it down there. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure about that, if you had to put it up and on the top or on the bottom. Right. So yeah, you can, I can move that to the bottom if I wanted to. So here, I did uh, pencil up, I moved it to um, XY, which is a value that is declared here, x and y, so it's minus 200 and 200, so it's probably right here. Yep. So, if you have that, oh, and I, okay, let's go. I moved my pencil there, so now my pencil, I set the color to red, and here I have a for loop, which is, uh, which I started with i, which is an arbitrary variable, Okay, so uh, so what I was trying to do is like if, if you can fill a triangle, you can fill it with like a lot of lines. Uh -huh. So it's just a bunch of lines, uh, one top of the other, with no space between them. So it looks like it's filled. But uh, but are they lines that have a uh, a similar um, starting point? Are, are you, while you're talking about rays, did you did you do something like this? I I'm gonna show did you. Did you fill it? Did you fill it like this? No, I fill it the from the same um, no, no. point. No, no, no. Or are you doing different lines? I started that are parallel to each other. I started. Um, here's my the triangle of the roof, the right. primary triangle. So I started here, and went like this, like uh, 90, 97 times, something like that. And how did you? How did you? Um, decrease the size of any subsequent I'm line. going there. Like that. So basically what the I means right. it's going to be like for as many times as I no, okay, I is zero, right? So I it's less bit while I is four, it's actually supposed to say four, I is less than or equal to ninety eight, you should uh, uh, you should add one to I. Yeah, right. increment i by one. Increment i by as long as i is between zero and ninety-eight. Exactly. So including ninety-eight. Including ninety-eight. So now that I have, um, when you, when you're going up, you want your uh, y to go up by one. Okay. And when you're going, like, if you're starting from here, oh, let me point that up here. But if you're starting from here. Um, you should want, if this is your first line, you should want the other line to start one pixel to the right. Ah. So since this is uh, minus, minus 200 in the x, to go one space to the right, you're supposed to add one to, the, to, to 200. Okay. 
So that's what I figured for the for moving the lines. So every time the this for loop is executed, you add x by one, y by one. You add one to x and one to y. One to x and one to y, and your line width, your line um, length is going to vary also because the first line is going to be longer than the second one. Uh -huh. So here I have my variable line, which is stated here as two on, as 199, and every time the for loop goes, it decreases by two, okay. and it's two because you have to decrease one pixel from this side and one pixel from this side. That's why it's two. Now, um, your s then I set directions to s zero what, what? because zero is to the right. If you have a, a, a circle, zero is going to be to the right. That's zero. And, I, I'm not, and I'm painting from left to right. So then I put my pencil down, always, and put the pencil forward for the uh, length of line, which is decreasing every time the for loop is executed. Okay. So now, I uh, finish that's that. That's an excellent uh, description, by the way, of that code. Thank you. Um, and folks, let, let me reiterate how important it is for you to um, discuss in your presentation uh, to, to this level uh, of detail, because not only does it clarify the code for the person uh, looking at the presentation, but it also reinforces um, things like loops and looping variables and um, incrementing a variable. All of these topics that we're going to be doing throughout the year, it also reinforces it, uh, reinforces your learning of the material. Okay? So keep that in mind when you do this. Okay. Okay. okay, go ahead. To color the, I called it the other side of the house, but it's actually the, the 3D part of the house. I did practically the same, just that instead of decreasing my line, um, decreasing my line length by two or something, I didn't decrease it because it's the same line just over and over and over again until you fill this space. So you so you just go up exactly. You just put your x, your y plus one. You see here, I didn't move my x. Right. That's because you don't need to move your x to uh, to execute this. So then I uh, put my pencil down, set direction to 50, which is uh, I I said that before, which is um, this direction. So and then forward 100 uh, pixels because it's the same uh, length all the all the way. It doesn't seem like it because it's the 3D. And it's meant to, you know, seem some things shorter than the others. Right. But it's the same length. Uh, now, the other side of the roof, it was a bit more um, complicated because it was it, you were mixing the the things that you did here with the things that you did here. So. I don't know, I'm not sure why, but the, the, the little uh, dots between the lines are not on purpose. They just happen to me. Okay. I just, um, it's just give, gives it like an avant-garde perspective. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, it, sometimes it helps for the 3D perspective. Like, you can see it clearly if you have a different tone of the color here. Or a pattern or something. Right. I so see what you're saying. Okay. okay so, so that was accidental. So that was accidental, but it turned out okay. Okay. So you lose some points for that. <laughs> no. But. <laughs> okay. So I moved my pencil to X2, Y2, which are uh, initialized here. And then the X is supposed to move. To the um, to the left, so that's and if this is uh, this is uh, zero on the y-axis, I think on the x-axis. So this uh, this is zero. I started from here and went this way. So if you if I ever 
time I move a line up, I have to go left. So every time the line goes, they draw the line or the four loops executes, the X is um, subtracted one. Like decremented. Decremented one, yeah. yeah decremented by one. the y is going to go up by one increase by one so and here I had to use the line thing the line um, the variable line too because like in the triangle before here every line is going to be shorter so I had to decrease line two by one every time and uh, now I have it just just pencil down, set direction to 50, which is the same as this and this, and then forward the pencil the, and the length of the of the variable line. Too. And that's pretty much it. And you sh I should uh, render this again so you can see it completely, like working, and you can understand some things that I explained. Um, yeah, uh, or compile it, compile it like that. You see how the, the it's painting from left to right? Right. You can see the little pixel there? Yeah, it does look like there's movement from left to right. And then after that, then it's going to pick the other... It's going to paint the side of the house yeah. from the bottom. And... Uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't mention this, but uh, while in the for loop, right. there was a lot of uh, trial and error in the matter of the how many times does the for loop has to run? Right. Because I didn't know what the this I didn't know this like the the height of this triangle. So I didn't know how many lines to put there. So how did you figure that out? By an error. Just okay. I put like an arbitrary number of hundred and then I saw it was too much. So I started decreasing the numbers. Could you have used uh, what you learned in geometry to figure out that well, yeah wasn't it ninety eight you said the triangle? Yeah. So that's it's a height of a hundred and then Oh yeah, I could use my geometry to do that, but uh, I was too lazy. Well, something to consider for your future uh, project. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I really like about screencasting is students have a tendency uh, when they screencast to see the connections between math, between, and this. Between math physics, computer science. Um, chemistry. So uh, consider 